What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've picked up the camera and I honestly wasn't gonna vlog today because I feel like I don't have that much exciting stuff to do, but I figured why not? I'll just take you through my day. I have a few things I need to get done. I'm actually sitting at the computer right now working on some gift guides that I wanna share over on my Instagram and of course I will link them down below um, if I'm done with them by the time this video goes up. So that is super fun. I'm actually working on like a fitness lovers gift guide. And yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I have a brow appointment at noon and I need to run to Target. And I'm trying to think what else. I need to get a workout done today. I think I'm going to book a workout class at 5.30. I'm actually gonna do that right now while I'm thinking about it. I've been going to Burn Boot Camp and I've been loving it you guys know um I've talked about it before on my other vlogs but I've been loving it I ended up signing up for like an eight class pass per month and I really want to do the unlimited because now I feel like I'm unmotivated to do hard workouts at home because they're so their workouts honestly are so hard it's like it kills me every single time my triceps literally are still throbbing. They're so sore from my workout on Friday and today is Wednesday. <laughs> so it's been like five days and my arms are still so incredibly sore. Um, so yeah, you know it's working when you're that sore, but I honestly might have picked up too heavy of weights. So just booked my 5.30 class. It's super easy. You just do it in the app and then you book your childcare slots as well. So that is booked. Now I officially have to go to the 5.30 class. I think today's like a cardio and core workout. They share it on their Instagram every single day, like st in the stories, they show the girls working out. And sometimes it's a good thing because you can mentally prepare and other times you're like, ugh, I don't wanna go, it looks so hard. <laughs> So anyways, that is what's going on today. I'm going to do a little bit of work on the computer and then we will go to Target and go to, Ul I get my eyebrows done at Ulta. I swear they always do such a good job no matter who I see. So I'm getting a brow wax and tint and they need it. So that's what's going on over here. I guess I will take you guys along for the day and we'll see what we get into. Okay, filling up my water for the day. This thing is so ridiculous. It's a whole gallon, <laughs> but I've been slacking so much on my water and I forgot I had this and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. So I did it yesterday. I drank the entire gallon. I literally peed, I'm not kidding you, every 30 minutes, but it does make such a difference in how you feel when you're hydrated and I just feel it in my skin. I feel it I'm like, I don't snack as much. I don't know, it's just so good. So I started it at the 9 a.m. mark instead of the 7 a.m. mark because I did already drink like a shaker cup full of water right when I woke up. So I'm now going to make some lunch and then probably head out the door for my brow appointment. Having some leftover tortilla soup. I tried a new recipe and I will link it down below. It was really good and super, super easy, which we love that. So I'm gonna heat this up. Add a little bit of Greek yogurt on top, maybe some cheese, and eat it with some siete chips, and it's gonna be so good. Okay, here's my quick little lunch. This is so good too, with like avocado and cilantro and a squeeze of lime juice, but I don't have any of that. <laughs> and then these are the chips that I love to use. They're much better ingredients, and they taste so, so good. I actually used the Siete brand enchilada sauce inside of my soup. It called for red enchilada sauce. I found it at Target and the ingredients were really good and it tastes delicious. I just realized I never did my morning skincare and I wanna do that before I go to my appointment. So I'm gonna wash my face, do my very short little skincare routine and then head out the door. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day Okay, <laughs> I just got done with my um, brow appointment and I'm so embarrassed. 
the girl did who did my brows. Um, I always go to Ulta and I've gone to multiple people there and I've never ever had a bad experience. They always do such a good job. But this girl, she told me it was her second day and she was brand new and she seemed super flustered. I think she had just got there when I pulled in and, um, my brows are so dark. I don't even want to show you. It's that bad. Okay. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell how bad it is on camera. You probably will. It's not hard to see, but they're just, luckily the wax job is fine, but she tinted them so dark. I don't even know what she was thinking. <laughs> oh my God. You guys, I'm like going to go home and wash my face and use an exfoliating face wash and just pray that some of this scrubs off. Oh my God. It's so embarrassing. Thankfully my sunglasses kind of cover them, but I just went to Sephora right after because it's just across the way and I ran out of my lip sleeping mask the Laneige lip sleeping mask if you've never used this this is a holy grail product for me I literally ran out you got I showed you guys I was putting it on and it was like completely empty and that was just a little mini travel one that I was going through but I picked this up at Sephora and I was so self-conscious because obviously they're like beauty experts and they're probably like what is wrong with that girl's eyebrows but Laneige came out with two new flavors for the holidays, a peppermint and a gingerbread. And I got the peppermint. The gingerbread smelled really, really good, but I didn't, I don't know. I don't want that on my lips. Like I feel like the peppermint would be cooling. So I'm going to put some of this on real fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This stuff's the best you guys. It's a lip sleeping mask, but I use it all day long with the winter dry weather. You know how it is. Okay, I'm gonna go run into Target. Might get a coffee, might not, we'll see. I feel like I get a coffee every day and it's a really bad habit, so I wanna be better than that, but a uh, oat milk brown sugar shake and espresso is sounding real nice. Hey, we are home and we are very embarrassed of these eyebrows, seriously so embarrassing. Um, but I stopped at Quick Trip to get a Celsius. This is my favorite flavor, it's the sparkling orange. And I come out of the parking lot and I'm sitting at the stop sign <clears throat> and this lady just like rear ends me very lightly, but I get out of my car, obviously to go check the damage and she gets out of her car and she's like, what are you doing? I didn't hit you. And like, just starts screaming at me that she didn't hit me. And I was, I didn't even say anything to her. I was just looking at my car and I was like, excuse me, like I'm not coming at you. And yes, you did hit me. Why else would I get out of my car? My car jolted forward and I heard and felt it. And she's like yelling at me and yelling at me. And then she wipes, wipes the scuff marks off of my car. And she's like, see, it's fine. I'm like, what a crazy person. I'm like, what is wrong with people? There was no damage to the car. She just wiped off the scuff marks and I had to be on my way because I had to get Liam. But it's been an adventurous day, you guys. I'm going to sit here and try to scrub my brows. <laughs> Okay, it's a bit later and as you guys saw, I got cut off, but I washed my face and my brows look so much better. They're still obviously super dark, but better, right? I mean, so much better. If you follow me on Instagram, I showed a before and after and you can definitely tell a difference, but I just finished my gift guide. So I will link that down below. It's a gift guide for the fitness lover. There's some really, really good stuff on there. A lot of it is stuff that I own and I'm obsessed with, and you've probably heard me talk about on here. And then some of it is stuff that I really want and it's on my wish list as well. So done with that. I'm going to whip up some dinner. I'm putting some meatballs in the crock pot. I'm making their cranberry jalapeno meatballs. So I'm going to put those in the crock pot. I'm cheating though. And I'm using, I've never had these before, but they look really good. And then I found like a sauce to make from scratch and pour over it and just stick it in the crock pot. But I found these meatballs from Costco. So these are the meatballs, the cranberry jalapeno, the Amy Lou brand. I've had like their chicken burgers and they're really, really good. So they're already pre-cooked in a package. I'm just going to throw them in the crock pot. And then I got all my ingredients that I need to make the sauce. And I think we're just going to have it over like Jasmine rice with some stir fry veggies. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now 
I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Okay, dinner's in the crock pot. They look and smell really, really good. So like I said, we'll have this with jasmine rice and veggies. I saved some off to the side with no sauce for the kids. Maddie just got home from school. Hi. What you guys doing? Wait, why am I still wearing my mask? I have no idea. It was crazy sock day today. So I wear <laughs> soccer socks that were not matching. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And they are digging into the Halloween candy and you each get one piece. Yeah. One piece. And then one we're gonna go to the gym. After. After. Yes, so that's what's going on. I think I need to take this little guy potty. You guys, Sunny's almost one. Can you believe it? Oh, we're so obsessed with our puppy. Do you want to go potty? Do you want to go potty? Do you want to go potty? Oh, you are so cute. I can't take it. Who knew you'd love a dog so much? Who knew? All right, let's go potty. Come on. You want to go potty? Do you want to go potty? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Or not. I guess you don't need to go. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody else. No one will ever take me. No one will ever take me away from you. I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do Without you mm. Without you mm. You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly Okay, home from my workout. It was so hard. Today was core conditioning and my core is so weak. That is my absolute least favorite thing to do, which is why I'm glad I went because it was basically 45 minutes of core and cardio. So that was great. Also, Burn Boot Camp has the cutest tank tops, and I've wanted, I've been wanting to buy one. They came out with the cutest tie-dye one. I thought it was so fun. I love the back of it. How cute is that? Love it, and it's like so buttery soft. I wonder what the brand is. I don't know. They took it off. Um, so cute. Love, love, love. Cannot wait. I have a pair of blue leggings that are like this color. I think it would be so cute to wear with that. So. Fun little purchase of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and make the dinner or finish making the dinner and get this family fed, do the whole bath time routine and all those shenanigans. All right, here's my dinner. I was lazy and did like frozen bagged veggies and just popped it in the microwave, but it looks delicious. I gave these meatballs and plain jasmine rice to the kids with strawberries and they ate none of it. So that was a fail, but Hopefully it tastes good. Okay, Scooter's handling bath time. Maddie has spirit week Spirit week this week, and tomorrow is wear your favorite team day. And she's on the dance team at her studio, and she wants to wear a dance team shirt, but we don't have one yet. It's her first year on the team, so she doesn't really have any swag yet. So I actually have a plain blank tee that I was gonna use for a Halloween shirt for her. So I figured I would just make one for her using my Cricut. Super easy. I just, I just made the artwork here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. And I'm just gonna print that. I have a whole bunch of colors down here. I should have asked her if she has an opinion on that. I think I'll do hot pink. Um, we'll do hot pink vinyl and call it a day.
Okay, I'm weeding the vinyl right now. Super, super easy. And if you guys have a Cricut, um, this is like the coolest little tool ever. I'll link it down below. Um, so you can put all the scraps inside and it just keeps them all in there. It's so handy. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon and it's like $6 maybe. Okay, I'm done. Super cute. Maddie's gonna love it. So easy to do. I freaking love my Cricut. Okay, the kids are in bed. Hopefully they will stay in bed. I am so gross from my workout. I got so sweaty, so I need to go take a shower and relax for the evening. Okay, I'm showered and I'm clean and it's the best feeling in the world. Oh my gosh. Do you guys love brushing your hair at night? I think it feels so good. See how greasy my hair is? I should have washed it. Um, I read this thing where I'm trying to grow out my hair and I read this thing where if you like really brush your scalp and brush it really, really good, it like stimulates the follicles or whatever and helps with hair growth. And I'm obsessed with brushing my hair at night now. Oh, it feels so good. It's like a head massage. Um, speaking of hair, I booked a keratin treatment for my hair. I have really frizzy hair, <laughs> really frizzy hair. And I don't know why I've never thought to do this but I'm getting a keratin treatment and I'm really excited to see the results. My mom has really, really curly hair and hers is really frizzy. And it was so funny because I posted on my Instagram yesterday, I was asking for like recommendations and if it's worth it and if you had a good experience and seriously everyone except for one person said that it was like a game changer. And my mom texted me and she was at a new salon getting her hair done and she said that the lady was like begging her to get a keratin treatment on her hair. Actually, she did a Brazilian blowout, which they're very similar from what I understand. It's just like a different brand. Um, and they're a little bit different, but basically kind of the same idea. Anyways, she ended up getting one and she's obsessed. She hasn't washed her hair yet though, so I'm dying to see what it looks like after she washes it. So I booked an appointment for next Friday and I'm so excited. Comment down below if you guys want me to vlog that day. Um, so. I'll keep you guys posted on that, but I am ready for bed. I'm gonna hop in bed. We're gonna probably watch You. We're on the last season of You and it's just a crazy, crazy show if you haven't seen it before. We just wrapped up All American, which we loved, loved, loved. That's such a good show too. So that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.